and sing for all of you, ladies and gentlemen, a woman who puts a man in Samantha <laughs> and is hoping that one of you will do the same this evening. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay? All right. So just go back to your table, and then when he says Samantha Sterling, you lunch and you have at it. Mm. Go ahead. Pretend I'm not here. Right. I'm, I'm behind the library right door. What? Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to turn my back so you can't see You're that I'm here. You're not there. You're behind the next library here. door. Yes. And then I'll, push push. And then I'll bust. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Adam shame that you haven't met her yet. Oh, she's, she's, she's brand away from us for so long. In fact, it's eerie that we haven't started to see her You can't do this to Anna or Elsa, so grab it! Over the end, over the end. I've been texting that for you. How long are you dating her? This is going to be some role playing back in the hotel. Give it up, Brad. Get off of me. keeps calling my name I've been away so long I've missed you so and I can see that you feel the same I haven't felt so welcome 
since I don't know when. That's why I've come to see you all again. It's time to pack my bags again, cause adventure keeps calling my name. Since I've been gone, hey, I've lost some weight. Adventure keeps calling my name. And you've lost some hair, but on you this looks hot. Adventure keeps calling my name. And you asked if I want a survivor too, but you were busy doing it was a shame. I was hacking through the desert, I thought of you. Just picturing your face helped pull me on through. But now I find a mess of the Sahara too, cause adventure keeps calling my name. So now. Adventure keeps calling my name. I ran into the wild man from Borneo. By the time that I was three, he was tame. I didn't let a board among me out the crust. I'd rather take a risk where my hair could get mussed. Cause I'm never gonna shake this wonder lust. Adventure keeps calling my name. Brenna, that you were doing three years ago. And by the way, I look much better in the dark, don't I? This is good lighting for me, isn't it? Dreamy! You can't see my wrinkles! Okay, so now, where, where, where were you working? We worked at Hollywood Studios. Oh, you were cast members, were you? But you're not cast members any longer. So you were your college program, see peers, as it were? Yes, you were. Good. Okay, so this beautiful. So you met, what, 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 where were you working at Disney's Hollywood Studios exactly? Indiana Jones. Oh, <laughs> you saw his stunt spectacular. Is that what I was? <laughs> yes. What, what, sure, sure. And now, have you moved to Pennsylvania or you were from Pennsylvania? No. Oh, you do live here now, but you, okay. Do you still work here? Because, you know, when the club had a club and we were at a club, we didn't allow facial hair, so then I didn't know, and I'm like, no, you're still cast members. Okay, do you still work at Disney's Hollywood Studios? No, you do. No, where do you work now? The show is almost over. This is taking too long. Where do you work? Oh, my word. I think I just went through the change. Okay. Who said that? Was that Thomas? Who was that that said that? My boss. Okay. And your name? Uh, Mike. Mike. And you with your lovely wife. Good. Okay, don't be afraid of that. You said it like, what, am I supposed to say wife? Yes, you should. How long have you two been married? Going on 25 years. Yay. 25 years. Nice. How did you meet? We were working together. Again? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Thomas and I worked together for 26 years and we've never dated. What a sad. I am a good kisser, I swear. Okay. So now, how long did you date? Uh, Hathaway knows, yes. Oh, uh, So how, how long did you date before you got married? Well, it took me about three years to finally ask her out after we'd been working together. But then after I asked her out, things moved quickly. And we were married. <laughs> Within six months. Seven, seven or eight months. Seven or eight months. So three years to ask her out. But then once you asked her out, you didn't date long before you got married. That is true. Okay, I just want to make sure y'all heard that. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see who else here that I don't know. You, sir. You, sir. What is your name? My name is Jim. Jim, who are you here with? Monique, my girlfriend. Monique. Monique, your girlfriend. How long has she been your girlfriend? Uh, six years. Wow. <laughs> no time for that. All of you know that. Six years? Somebody's getting the milk for free. I don't know. It could be rude. 
different. Maybe she's the one. Why? Okay, Monique, how did you meet uh, Jim? Jim? Sure. How did you meet him? He's my account. He's your account. Okay, good. I almost, I thought you said he's your cousin. And I was He's your accountant, so he's been doing your books. Which I believe is a euphemism. So, six years. Where are you folks from? Chicago. Chicago. City of suburbs. No, city. City. Okay, good. So now, honestly, are you happy with this setup? I mean, six years. But yeah, you're young, right, my friends from Dubai? How, how young are you? You're 10 years old. Welcome to the States. <laughs> Let me tell I don't know what it's like in Dubai, okay? But I'm just saying, in the United States, you shouldn't date someone for six years and not maybe have some sort of commitment. Am I right, Jen? Am I right? Monique, look at me when I'm talking to you. What? <laughs> You've been dating 14 years. Oh, wow. 13. You two need to stand in time out and figure this out for yourselves. <laughs> You're obviously happy with this. You can't make up your mind. This is what I'm oh. telling you, Dubai. But it doesn't take 13 years. And the <laughs> kids, I have so much right here that I can't see. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. You know, I'm mountain climbing. I skydive. I've traveled the world. I just I have a challenge when it comes to the relationship thing. Are there couples? Well, this is three of you, which is really <laughs> fun on New Year's Eve. Um, Dubai. These are questions to ask on the way home. Uh, is that is this the mom who's covering her face? No. The sister, okay, to the older sister, so don't tell your mom and dad what the kids are learning. Okay, how old are you? How old are you? I'm 21. 21, okay, good, all right. Uh, so the three of you, how do you know each other? You gotta run? Oh, no, 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 because you've been dating. You're not committed. No, you're married. Okay. That's your son. Oh, ew, see what I'm talking about. That's <laughs> Miss Icky. You don't want to know the mom and dad. How did you meet, though? How did you meet? Aww. Aww. I just threw up in my throat. Okay. <laughs> what college? MSU. Woo! Michigan State. Michigan State. Yeah. Hello, Spartan flying around. Look, the sparks flying for the Spartan. Look at you, you're so proud. And is your son in college? Yes. Where do you go to school? Michigan State. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh -huh. okay, so you're from Michigan, born and raised, everything? Look at that, people from all over. But I, like I said, though, I, just, I can mountain climb, skydive, it's just something about the men. I've had the challenge with the men. I attract the wrong ones. Fingers, let's tell him about it in song. <laughs> when I was in my 16th year and dreaming of romance a lot, I thought that I was Guinevere and every boy Sir Lancelot. But now that I am more <laughs> advanced, uh, <laughs> I'm more uh, red in the hair. I'm more red in the hair. And I'm more red in the hair. And on my way about, I don't believe in people more. Cause Sammy's found out. Listen up, girls. Most gentlemen don't like love. They just want to kick it around. Most gentlemen can't take love. Cause most gentlemen can't be profound. As Madame Sappho and Sapson had said, he'll love you forever. Cause most gentlemen don't like love, they just want to kick it around. Most gentlemen can't take love, cause most gentlemen can't be profound unless they do your books for you. <laughs> and all the world's sisters are all the same. A pounce in the clover and then when it's over, so long and what was your name? Max. Max. Nice. And who are you traveling with, Max? Jamie. That's good. Okay, good. And you've been married how long? Uh, six years. No. You had to think about it. Wait, I hear a lot of men. Give him time. He was going to come up with a number. All right. Most gentlemen don't like love. They just want to kick it around. So if your boyfriend some fine way should say, he'll love you forever and part from you never. Just kick him out of the hay. Because most gentlemen don't like you're married to him. I'm sorry, what? 49 years you've been married. This is your son, and that's your grandson? Yay! Okay, I was like, no, but I was afraid of because you weren't talking, and I was like, oh my god.
much. Does he not speak anymore? Like after 49 years, he just shut the man up. Just shut him up. It's a, what is your name, sir? Ara. Ara. Come here, Ara. You're in the big show. Come here. Give it up. Yes. And your lovely wife's it name is? Ira. Ira. So it's not Ira? No. Okay. I was Ira. How are you spelling? <laughs> ah. It's like I'm throwing up a little bit how, how do you spell that though? Backwards. A R E. Okay. We work it out. Yeah, okay, good. Okay. And uh, what is your wife's name? Diane. Diane. How did you meet lovely Diane? <laughs> Well, I, I think we do want to hear. I think your grandson who got the, got the little cameras out. This is so going on oh. Facebook and the YouTube. Okay, so how did you meet Diane? Diane's aunt married my brother. Okay, <laughs> Diane's aunt married your brother. Okay, you make sure that doesn't happen in Michigan. That's like a Kentucky thing. Okay, so you're from Michigan, so you're from Michigan right? What did you do for a living? Do you still work? No. What did you do? Uh, design cars. Wow. Ooh, you're from the Motor City. Am I right? You're from Detroit. So would I have ever been in one of your cars? Because you know. Mustangs tour is safe. Oh. Okay. <laughs> 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 
You don't. What? It was a convertible. <laughs> Do they make anything that's Cadillacs? Yes. Okay. All right. So you're with Diane. You're in the convertible, the Chinese restaurant, and you're just like, you're starting to like, show us your lo mein, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs>
should become the president The way she carries on It tends to just embarrass all our friends And we go on like that from night till dawn But ladies and me, oh, we belong to a mutual home Admiration Society They think my singing is the ball It's not as good as ball Oh, don't kid yourself, my dear Please stop screaming in my ear Ha, ha, ha. 